Good morning. Today I just want to share some simple, easy meal ideas. Of course, we are starting with breakfast. I happen to have these sweet potato chia puddings prepped, so I'm taking one out for myself and my husband. And this is going to be our super easy one minute breakfast today. I'm just topping mine with some soy milk and walnuts, but you could also use yogurt if you prefer. And I'm having mine with some Earl Grey tea. But let me back up a little and show you how to make this sweet potato chia pudding first. I just used about one large baked sweet potato, two cups of soy milk, mix that really well together, or of course you could also use a blender if you prefer. I added one third cup of chia seeds, a couple tablespoons of maple syrup, and a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And just mix that thoroughly until it's well combined, and then add it into your jars. This sets up so nicely in the fridge overnight and just makes the perfect grab and go breakfast, especially during fall. And now let's go get ready for a workout. As you guys probably know, I used to go to the gym in the morning, but recently I've changed my workout routine a bit. I used to drive to the gym four times a week, which is 20 minutes to drive there. And then I would work out for an hour and drive 20 minutes back. But with rising gas prices, I wanted to explore a different option. So I figured if I did at home workouts, I would not only save on gas, but I could also get a really good workout in, in the same amount of time that it takes for me to drive basically to and from the gym. Plus, as it's getting colder, I find that I personally don't really like to go to the gym on snow days, so this way it won't affect my consistency even in winter. But I didn't really know what exercises to do at home, and I was feeling a little bit lost with at-home workouts, and that is why I'm so excited that Copilot is sponsoring today's video. You guys, I have never used anything like this before. It feels like exactly what I need in this season of life. It's personal training through an app, but it's tailored exactly to me, and it gives me workouts that I can do on my own schedule. So even before first meeting with a trainer, there's a questionnaire to get to know exactly what kind of coach is gonna be a good fit for you. And I just thought it's really cool that there are so many different options here. It just really made me feel like they're customizing this program specifically for me and my goals. So I was matched with coach Dana and meeting her was awesome. It totally exceeded my expectations. And for the first time, instead of coming up with a typical goal like lose weight, Dana encouraged me to make a goal that actually felt much more attainable. How do you want to measure your, your progress? If I could get back into a routine where I'm doing at least like four days a week, Mm -hmm. That would be amazing. I love that. That's a great goal. <laughs> now, one of the reasons I really like this program is because all of the planning part is done for you. When I used to do at-home workouts, I had no idea what to do. So just having all of the workouts laid out in the app is perfect and I can follow along whenever I'm ready. And check this out. If there's an exercise that you're not familiar with, there's a little video guide. You just click on it and it'll show you exactly how to do the exercise. And thank goodness Copilot came along when they did because because I have finally gotten excited about working out at home. My weekly goal was to go to the gym four times a week, but sometimes I was only going once or twice. And now with Copilot, I've been doing at-home workouts almost every day, which is great because improving consistency was my biggest goal. So if you've been wanting to start working out or even just stay healthy, I cannot recommend Copilot enough. They're actually offering a free 14 days just to try it out. You get your own expert fitness coach, and I'd love to hear what you guys think. So go try them out you can visit go.mycopilot.com slash let's eat plants to get started. And of course, I will also link that in the description box down below. And again, a big thank you to Copilot for sponsoring today's video. After my workout, I do like to quickly change and then get ready for some lunch. I'm always really hungry after my workout, but also feeling like I want to eat something really healthy. I don't know, something about working out just makes you want to eat healthy right after. So I'm going to see what's already in the fridge that we can kind of throw together quickly. I know that I have some prepped greens and a soup already prepped, so I'll probably just do a little soup and salad combo and that'll be lunch. It looks like we have some lettuce greens as well as some kale and some already chopped bell peppers, which will be perfect just to throw on top of the salad. We also have some cherry tomatoes which I'll just chop up quickly, some celery for a nice crunch, and some beans for extra protein.
And these beans are called lupini beans. They are really high in protein and so delicious. If you haven't tried them yet, keep an eye out for them at the grocery store. Okay, so I made this soup a few days ago. It is just a butternut, squash, carrot, and red lentil soup. So it is super packed with protein. And I just love having an already prepped soup ready to go so I can just grab it out and reheat as needed. So obviously you can use this like as your main meal or today I'm using it on the side of my salad and it is so delicious, so easy to make and lasts for a few days when you make a big batch. So I'm just gonna heat up a serving of this soup on the stovetop and also going to toast up some bread. And of course, once our soup is hot, we'll just go ahead and add it next to our salad. And I'm adding a little bit of hummus onto the toast. This is just a homemade one that I whipped up a week ago. And then for salad dressing, I'm gonna use this balsamic glaze, which is delicious. It just makes the perfect salad dressing if you don't have anything prepped already. Usually in the afternoons, I'm craving a little bit of a snack. I actually have quite a few snack recipes on this channel. If you're looking for a healthier snack, I will link those videos down below. But I did bake some sweet potato brownies last week and I have just been enjoying those with a little glass of soy milk. So that's what I'm gonna have this afternoon as well. Now this recipe is actually from another video with a bunch of squash recipes. I made some squash brownies and they are like probably my favorite brownies that I've ever made. They are oil free. They are, I mean, they have sugar in them, but other than that, they're pretty healthy. And so what I did is I just swapped sweet potato for squash in that recipe and left all the other measurements the same. They did turn out really, really fudgy, which is why I like to serve them with a glass of soy milk, but overall they're really tasty and a very nice afternoon snack. I'm gonna get started on dinner. We are going to have tacos or fajitas, some kind of veggie and tofu situation. I'm just gonna make it really easy and put everything onto a large baking tray and bake that in the oven for about 30 minutes and serve it with some beans, tortillas, guacamole, etc. And I just think that will be a very nice and easy meal and also a really good way to use up our chopped veggies. For the tofu, I am following the recipe from It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken for her chorizo crumble. Of course, I will leave that recipe down below. It's honestly so good and so easy. We make either this one or a variation of it a few times every month. And then just a little bit of seasoning on our veggies and we'll bake that in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes, basically just until the veggies are nice and soft. Then of course we'll just heat up some tortillas and beans and we can make our tacos. For toppings, I like to use shredded lettuce, sliced tomatoes, fresh cilantro, and salsa. But of course any taco toppings you like will work here. And that was dinner for my husband and me. In the evenings, we've been trying to make sure we get a walk-in, especially right now, all of the beautiful fall colors are so gorgeous and it just feels so good to get outside. Now, if you wanna try out meal prep or at least prepping some veggies to prepare yourself for the week and have really easy, simple meals like this ready to go, make sure you check out this video. This is a great beginner's guide and a really great place to start.